Hi, my name is Pierre Julianel and I work with the Omnican company. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to play the 3 in 1. The 3 in 1 is three cooperative games inside of the same setup. The goal of the games is to achieve an objective by cooperating all together. To play these games, you'll simply need one giant Omnican ball of 33 inches and over, and the sport or the game can be played in a small gym, in the backyard, outside on a soccer field, indoor or outdoor. To play this game, you will need a minimum of 15 players, but you can go up to 20, 30, even 40. And the minimum age we recommend is 4 years old, but maybe it's going to be more difficult for the younger to understand correctly the game. In the big lines, we're going to have the participants set up into two concentric circles with a space between them. The ball is going to circulate in between them and we're going to try to achieve different objectives here. At first, make sure you place your participants in one large circle, asking them to face the inside of it. Then, take a few more participants and build a smaller circle inside of this one with the participants facing out. That is to say, you're going to have two circles with participants facing each other. The space between the circles must be large enough to have one of the giant balls to circulate between them. Once you're going to be ready with the setup, you can begin with start your engines. For the game start your engines, the objective is to compete against time. So during that game, show the participants how to carry the ball using only their hands all the way around and increase the speed. Then you can give them an objective. We have to complete 10 laps within one minute or you can ask them to complete five laps, see how much time it took, and then get the result. Imagine that the ball is a racing car and that the space between the two circles is the racing track. The objective is to have the racing car travel around the circuit as fast as possible. The more laps they do, the faster they get. Once this is done, you're ready to play Indiana Jones. To play Indiana Jones, ask one volunteer to stand between the circle and the opposite side as the ball. When the game begins, the objective of Indiana Jones is to run away from the ball, while the objective of the other participants is to catch him with the ball. We also the movie where Indiana Jones running away from the cavern with a big rock rolling for him. Well, that's exactly the situation here. Indiana Jones has to run away from the ball. If Indiana Jones can survive for 30 seconds, he escapes the cavern, so he's good. In the meantime, if the ball touches him, he's been squashed and Indiana Jones is now a pancake. Now, the next game you can play is the Planet Chaser. To play the Planet Chaser, once more, you're going to have one player between the circle on the opposite side. But this time, instead of having the player running away from the ball, it's the ball that is going to run away from him. The objective of the Planet Chaser is to touch the ball using both hands at the same time. But one thing, the Planet Chaser can change direction whenever he or she wants. So the other players, in order to maintain the ball away from that player, must change the direction of the ball as well. If after 30 seconds the Planet Chaser has not been able to touch the ball with both hands simultaneously, he has lost and the other players have won. You will notice that a game of Start Your Engine, Indiana Jones or Ch Planet Chaser will last just for a few seconds. So what is nice is that you play a couple of them and uh, rotate the volunteers so that all kids have a chance of being either Indiana Jones or the Planet Chaser. Regarding the safety rule for that game, make sure you ask the participant to remain at their position to make sure that the ball can always circle between the two, uh, the two circles. One of the other safety rules that we want to have in this game is to make sure to mention participants that they can only use their hands. It's easy to understand, you have another player right in front of you, so if you'd be allowed to kick the ball, some players could get the ball in the face, which we want to avoid. You will notice immediately for players that they're going to be working on their eye-hand coordination here. Working in cooperation will trigger the interest of your participants, which are not really interested by competition or by traditional team sports. Their interest will be triggered by the fact that they are part of the group that has to achieve the objective as a whole instead of having to compete one against the other. In terms of benefits for the person who is presenting the activity, you will notice that first, it's a very simple game to explain, doesn't take much preparation or much material that can be played indoor or outdoor, and that you can play with very large groups. 
and enjoy playing the three in one.